Welcome, Professor Hill. Thank you. Can you tell the committee what was the most embarrassing of all the incidences that you have alleged? You testified this morning that the most embarrassing question involved, this is not too bad, women's large breasts. That's a word we use all the time. You testified, you drew an inference that Judge Thomas might want you to look at pornographic films, but you told the FBI specifically that he never asked you to watch the film. Is that correct? The fact is, flatly, he never asked you to look at pornographic movies with him. Quote, this is not too bad, I can read it. Thomas liked to discuss specific sex acts and frequency of sex, close quote. You said you took it to mean Judge Thomas wanted to have sex with you, but in fact, he never did ask you to have sex, correct? No, he did not ask me to have sex. He did continually pressure me to go out with him, continually, and he would not accept my explanation as one as being, uh, being valid. So that when you said you, you took it to mean we ought to have sex, that that was an inference, a mere allegation Senator, I would suggest to you that for me, these are more than mere allegations. These are the truth to me. These comments are the truth to me. I, I'm, not, I'm not questioning uh, your statement when I use the word allegation. I know about sexual harassment and discrimination against women, and I think I have some sensitivity on it. How reliable is your testimony in October of 1991 on events that occurred eight, ten years ago. How sure can you expect this committee to be on the accuracy of your statements? I guess one really does have to understand something about the nature of sexual harassment. Uh, it is very difficult for people to come forward with these things. I've got to determine what your motivation might be. Are you a scorned woman? Do you have a militant attitude relative to the area of civil rights? Do you have a martyr complex? The issue of fantasy has arisen. Are you interested in writing a book? It is appropriate to ask Professor Hill anything any member wishes to ask her to plumb the depths of her credibility. You are not now drawing a conclusion that Judge Thomas sexually harassed you. Yes, I am drawing that conclusion. That well, is then my I don't understand. Pardon me? Then I don't understand. Do you have anything to gain by coming here? Has anybody promised you anything by coming forth with this story now? The witness did not say anything to the FBI about uh, the described size of his penis, the description of the movie Long Dong Silver, about the pubic hair in the coke. I did think that uh, Senator Specter pointed out some inconsistencies. All we've heard for 103 days is about a, a most remarkable man, and they scoured his every shred of life, and nobody but you has come forward. If what you say this man said to you occurred, why in God's name would you ever speak to a man like that the rest of your life? That's a very good question. And I'm sure that I can't not answer that to your satisfaction. That is one of the things that I have tried to do today. I have suggested that I was afraid of retaliation. I was afraid of damage to my professional life. And I believe that you have to understand that this response and, that, and that's one of the things that I have come to understand about harassment, that this response, this kind of response, is not atypical. And I can't explain. It takes, it takes an expert in psychology to explain how that can happen. But it can happen, because it happened to me. Well, I, I just, it just seems that so incredible to me. That is a, that is a most contradictory and puzzling thing for me. I do not know how Judge Thomas defends himself. I do apologize to the women of America if they got the wrong impression about how seriously I take the issue of sexual harassment. I must tell you, I must tell everyone else, 
I take sexual harassment seriously.